Hugh Crops is a family-owned supermarket chain in the Richmond area. It started back in 1937. Hugh Crops has always been very big on fresh or not at all. They have their own bakery. They have their own prepared food manufacturing facility. A lot of the stuff only has 24-hour shelf life on it to a three-day shelf life on it. Hugh Crops is very picky on their product, and as soon as it's done, from the manufacturing facility, it's going into the stores. As transportation manager, the budget is our biggest thing. I mean, we try to keep our costs down as low as possible with fuel going through the roof for everybody, diesel fuel being so much higher than gas. You look at where your costs are, you look to see what you can do to avoid that cost. When you run 1.3 million miles in town driving, servicing the stores that Ucrops has, you know, you, you, you have to look at everything. We have onboard computers in all of our trucks and basically that monitors everything from hard braking to over RPMs, over speed, uh, idle time. The uh, KDEX system also can give us an average of miles per hour. Be an in-town application with the manuals, usually it was running around 35 to 37 mile an hour. With the Allison, it runs basically 42 to 44 mile an hour. Just the increase in productivity there will pay for the Allison transmission in our application in three to three and a half years. It makes a big difference. I mean, you're talking about an extra run per day per driver to get product into the store, which in saying that, and it cuts our costs in the process. Fuel economy is nothing more than uh, the bean counter looking at the amount of fuel that's being consumed uh, to perform a task. And that's all he's looking at. Fuel efficiency is a more holistic approach to where you're looking at not only the uh, miles per gallon that it takes to perform that task, but you're also looking at other factors that uh, May, may offset any fuel costs that are involved in that process. One of those has to do with the productivity of the driver, uh, the safety associated with that. So you've got not only tangible benefits, but you also have intangible benefits in a fuel efficiency side of the equation that you don't get from a, a pure bean counter fuel economy equation. We found that uh, on average uh, the drivers uh, were getting about six miles per hour uh, faster movement while they're on the road uh, than their uh, standard transmission counterparts. When you then uh, look at that as far as the average number of miles that is driven in a day and then a week of a driver, you end up with uh, 60 man days. And with those 60 man days, that equates about $12,000 on an annualized basis that you re, uh, gain off that. You'll end up with uh, more productivity out of your drivers. When you just average at $2,000 a shot on a replacement of, of a clutch and our application, if we hold that tractor for five years, we've already replaced three clutches and we're working on a fourth replacement which in itself, with that and clutch adjustments to these manuals and or the automated transmission would still drive the cost in five years over what the additional cost is for the Allison transmission. So it's kind of a no-brainer, you know. If we went to the automated, we would still have the issue with the clutches, the clutch adjustments. With the manual, we knew we had that. With the Allison, we have none of that. And our oldest trucks now, with Allison in them, have 400 plus thousand miles on them, and they're still checking as good as a new transmission. And with the in-town application, you'll never hear me complain about that at all. I think we save a lot of money by uh, switching to Allison just because we used to go through clutches like they were water. When a different driver drives the truck each time, you know, each person drives it different. So the Allison makes everybody drive it the same.
With few crops, safety is a very big issue. We're in town application. With the Allison transmission, they have their hands on the steering wheel at all times, both hands. They're not having to pay attention to what the RPMs are, what the speed is, because the Allison automatically is going to shift at the proper speed, and it'll downshift at the proper speed, which is going to give you longer life on your engine and longer life on your drivetrain. When they first told me I was going to drive an automatic, I was a little leery of it. And, uh, but once I got used to it, I thought it was the best thing going, especially around town. Uh, even in the bad weather, it turned out to be a super transmission. And you don't have to worry about what gears you're in. So you can keep your mind on, uh, you know, you can manage the space around your vehicle better. Oh, I would take the Allison Automatic over anything. Uh, I tell you, it's a lot less wear and tear on me. Uh, my knees, uh, back, uh, hands and shoulders shifting gears. Uh, you know, it's uh, to me, it's a dream after some of the things that I've driven through the years. You know, it's it's a dream come true. In the past five years since we've had Allison transmissions in our fleet, we've not had any downtime because of the transmission. I could pay for the Allison transmissions within three and a half years just on the savings on clutch replacements, downtime, and clutch adjustments. When I look at the Allison transmission and go on 35 to 37 mile an hour with a manual to 42 to 44 mile an hour with the Allison, I could save enough money within 2.75 years to pay for the Allison transmission. When I look at the return on investment at the end of the life cycle of that truck, and I get ready to sell that piece of equipment. Well, need to say, I'll get more because it's got an automatic transmission instead of a manual transmission. That I don't even have to factor in because I've already paid for the transmission two times in five years, just off the other two items. The uh, side benefits that we gain further amplified the fact that the uh, Allison automatic transmission is the right spec and I, uh, I would uh, recommend to anybody that manages a fleet to uh, explore that fuel efficiency model and not just the fuel economy. As it stands right now, I'd be hard pressed to spec anything other than Allison transmissions. And if I did, I expect my drivers would start rebelling as soon as I did. They, they just really appreciate them that much. Another day at the job.